I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmapinstitute.com. I have thousands of videos on YouTube channel which are absolutely free. Now we are trying to organize these videos in a website globalmapinstitute.com. I hope that will give you a rich experience of learning. Feel free to visit our site, write your comments and share your views. Here is solution of a quiz which we discussed under continuity and differentiability of functions. As you know, in calculus, that is one of the first applications of limits which we come across. So we are going to use the concept of limit to answer this particular question. The question here is, explain if the following statements are true or false, you should also justify each and every statement. Question number one, a function is continuous on a closed interval AB, then it is differentiable in the closed interval AB. Is it true or false? Justify your answer. Question number two. A function can be discontinuous but differentiable at that point. True or false? Question three. A function is differentiable on the interval, open interval AB. Then it is continuous in the closed interval AB. Is it always true or false? Question four. A function is continuous at x equals to c, then it is differentiable at x equals to c. Question number five is, a function is differentiable at x equals to c, then it is continuous at x equals to c. So we have five very important questions based on differentiability and continuity. Answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. So let us look into the solution now. The question number one here is, a function is continuous on a closed interval AB, then it is differentiable at the closed interval AB. It really means what? Let me just sketch a function here to elaborate. Let's say the function is kind of like this. It is under the closed interval from A to B, right? So let's say this point given to us is A and the value at A is F of A. And the point here is B and the value here is F of B. As you can see, the function is continuous, right? So the first part is correct. The function is continuous in the closed interval A, B. Now you need to prove then it is differentiable in the closed interval. Is it differentiable in the closed interval? Well, it is not, right? So this statement is false. Why is it false? It is false since in these starting and ending points, it is not differentiable. You cannot find limit from the left side, right? So, so at the edges, it is not differentiable. So it is actually differentiable only in the open interval. So it is, so you can note here that this function is differentiable in open interval A and B, not closed interval A and B. You get the idea. So that is how you can understand the concepts. Very, very important. And I've seen students making mistake here. So I hope this is absolutely clear. Now let's look into the second question, which is a function can be discontinuous, but differentiable at that point. So the function could be discontinuous. So how could you have discontinuity? Let's look into discontinuous functions, right? 
So discontinuities, as we learn, are of three types, right? So one is kind of like this, right? Which is a jump discontinuity. The other one, you could have like a hole here, right? And third one, we could have because of a asymptote, for example, correct? So let me just draw a part of this function. Fine. So you can see that at these points, it is not differentiable. Derivative does not exist, right? So this statement, a function can be discontinuous but differentiable at that point, this statement is false. And therefore, this statement is false. Correct? The function, if it is differentiable, it has to be continuous, right? So it is not differentiable. Very clear. Perfect. So... This statement is false. Now let's look into the quiz question number three. The question here is, a function is differentiable on the interval a and b, then it is continuous in the closed interval a and b. Very important to understand. We are saying that the function is actually differentiable, let's say, in the open interval Let's say these two points exist right like this. Is it okay? Let me write these points as A and F of A. Correct? And this is B and F of B. Now it says it is differentiable within the open interval. Then it is continuous in the closed interval. So that statement is true. As we did in question number one, you cannot really find derivative at the corners, right? Or starting and the ending points. However, in between, if it is differentiable, in that case, the function is continuous in the closed boundary given to you. Perfect. So this statement is true. Here is solution to question four, which is a function is continuous at x equals to c, then it is differentiable at x equals to c. Now let's look into this example. Let me sketch one. What do you think? Is it true or false? Well, this statement is false. And we're going to justify it. So let's take a function which is kind of like this, right? So at this point, let's say this point is is 1 for us. So at 1, we find it is continuous, right? But not differentiable. So when you have a cusp or a corner, so it is a cusp, right? So always at cusp or a corner, the function could be continuous. We could have another example, for example, absolute value function, correct? So at this, we have a corner. The function is continuous. However, at this particular point, it is not differentiable. Perfect. So let's take the next quiz example. Question 5 was, which is the last one. A function is differentiable at x equals to c, then it is continuous at x equals to c. So let's uh, talk about the absolute function itself and then discuss. So let's say this point here is c. Or let me not take C as a point. Let's say A and B, right? 
Now let's discuss. The function is differentiable at x equals to c. So if it is differentiable, that means what? That means this point is not c, right? Because it is differentiable, correct? So if it is, if the function is differentiable, then it is continuous at x equals to c. So this statement is true. Correct? So if it is differentiable, then it has to be continuous. That is very important, right? So differentiability lead to continuity for sure. So that is how we can understand all these conditions. I hope that helps you to get the idea of how do we justify these true or false questions based on continuity and differentiability of the functions. I'd like you to now attempt the test question on this particular unit. Thanks for your time. And in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given here. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thank you.